Okay, if you're okay, if you're okay with uh, being recorded. Anyway, to get back to creating the body, health, and happiness. That's what we set this up for. And I know some of you have been here from the beginning. I mean, I think we've been doing this for close to two years now. And um, the last few weeks, we've been focused on kind of the health and the happiness and finding unconditional self-love and using that to help ourselves and help the people around us. But we're going to get back to basics tonight because when we first started this group, it was um, to create the body we wanted. It was about an eight week run up to Christmas, maybe 2020, maybe 2019, I can't remember now. Um, and we kind of set our goals of where we wanted to be at Christmas. And some of you made those goals and some of you continue to keep those goals and some of you are new to this. So this isn't a weight loss group because we're all here and we've all got different goals. And for some of you, you might want to put on weight. You might just want to tone up. So this isn't about just losing weight. For some of you, it will be that. You might want to lose a few pounds. But before we start this, before we get into this tonight, I want to tell you, because it's true, that you're already a whole being. You're already the most incredible creation in the known universe. You are beautiful. And I mean that about you, Alan, and about you, Andreas, as well. You know, you are beautiful. You are already the most incredible creation. You're a whole being. You don't need to be anything else. But if you want to achieve something physically, maybe you want to just feel better about your body, which is fine. Maybe you want to put on some weight. Maybe you want to lose some weight then that's obviously your choice. And this is the thing about our bodies. We're an organism and it's a pretty simple calculation. If you want to put on weight, then you take in more calories than you are burning up. And if you want to lose weight, you take in less calories than you're burning up. Think about that, right? Um, but it's a simple calculation. It seems simple. But as we know, it's not that simple for all of us. Now we have bit different kind of uh, body structures and all kinds of stuff. But we can achieve our physical goals. As I always say, there are some things we cannot change. Otherwise, I'd be taller. I have a lot more hair. But our bodies are not one of those things. We can, but it's, it's about committing. It's about saying, this I want. I know Nolene said, you know, she's been transforming her body since I met her a couple of years ago and she's done great, you know, and it's just about consistency. We can all kind of diet for a week. We can work out for a week and then you stub your toe and you never work out again, even though your toe healed after the first two days. You know, we, we kind of any reason to put it off. But if you're here to lose weight, then the first thing I'm going to say to you is forget about dieting. Put that word out of your mind. Not that I have the right to, but I'm going to give you permission to eat anything you want. You better go into your supermarket and go, I can eat anything I want in here. But I'm going to eat these foods because I want my body to be like this. You have to understand you've already created the body you're in. You're already great creators. You created the body you're in right now. So you can decide how you want to create this. Create it. Maybe you're just happy as you are. And that's great because I said to you, you're all beautiful anyway. It makes no difference. Your value and your, your intrinsic beauty is not based on how many pounds you weigh. Try and get that into your head. So start from a platform of saying, Get, you know, when we spoke about it a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how to be happy now. And I said, I, heard, I hear it so often. I'll be happy when I lose this weight. I'll be happy when I pay off my mortgage. I'll be happy when I'm earning more money. I'll be happy when I'm in a, in a good relationship, whatever it might be. And when we're saying I'll be happy when, what we're actually saying is I'm not happy now. I want you to 
understand you're already incredible and then work from that platform and go, okay, for my health reasons, I might want to lose a few pounds. It might be something to do with your job. And if you're, if you're a therapist, then I would suggest to you that you want to look and feel as good as you can look and feel. Because when we're saying to people in the, in the therapy chair, I can help you achieve what you want, it's kind of difficult if you're sitting in, the, in your chair thinking, I, I really need to lose some weight. I really want to, uh, I, you know, I've got this, I'm anxious about this or I'm anxious about that. We need to resolve those things in ourselves. So we can sit in our chair, hand on heart, so I can help you achieve what you want to achieve. It doesn't matter if you're four or five stone overweight. You can still help people lose weight. Providing you're perfectly happy four or five stone overweight. But my attitude towards, and some of you might not like it, but my attitude towards is this. If I, if I am not, if I am not achieving what I want to achieve physically, then I really have no right to say to you, I can help you. And not only that, there's a lack of credibility. It's like me sitting here with an ashtray full of cigarette ends and say, I can help you quit smoking. There's a lack of credibility. So none of us are perfect. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a million miles from perfect. But we should be working towards being the best we can be. If we have fears and anxieties that are holding us back, then let's get rid of them. And to do that, bear in mind that most of the things we're anxious about are things out there in the future. And when we think about our future, it's not real. Because our future can only be imagined. It hasn't happened yet. So it can only be imagined. So if you're stressing about something in the future, we can all worry about World War Three, couldn't we? And we could be doing, we could be sitting in that panic situation all the time. And there will be people around the world who are. And there will be people in those countries which are absolutely under threat. And they do have to have that. And they should be panicking. It's not their fault, but they have no choice in it. But to worry about something that hasn't happened yet, we may as well imagine the best outcome. The, look, the worst thing that can happen then is we're disappointed. But if we live our life in that way, we're gonna, our lives are going to be better and we're going to live longer, I promise you. <clears throat> so in a moment, I'm going to ask you all, just for a moment, to let go of any of your limiting beliefs or negative thoughts. Let go of your inhibitions. And I want you to just for a moment, allow yourself the pleasure of thinking how you want to be physically. And put every excuse out of your mind. Oh, I'm too old. I'd like to be this, but if I lose that weight, then I'm going to look scraggy. I've heard that from so many women, particularly. It's a wonderful excuse. You know, my face will, well, don't lose the weight, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, if, you know, get into, a, get into your mind, a state of mind where you want to go, right, that's how I want to look and feel. You can do that now. Just take a breath in, and as you breathe out, close your eyes. Allow yourself the pleasure of going out into the future and seeing yourself having created the body you want. Just get a picture of it in your mind. And notice the way you move and the way you breathe. Step into that body, feel what it feels like to have achieved it. Actually step into that body and feel into it. That feeling of achievement, that feeling of energy. And now ask this question, how much fun is this? How much fun can I make it? How important is it for me? And get a sense of how much fun that's going to be and how much fun you can make it. Get a sense of that now. 
and just put that feeling in the back of your mind and open your eyes. Now, as human beings, we've got Anne Allen here, and she's a musician. And if you never heard her music, you want to look her up on YouTube. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Anne Allen because as human beings, we are geared toward pleasure. And music's one of those things. And if you haven't heard Anne, then listen to her, and you'll realise what I'm saying. It's just pure pleasure to listen to her play. But... We're geared towards pleasure. Our unconscious being, our whole instinctive being is geared toward pleasure. And now you know how good you're going to feel when you create your body. Everything about you is inclined toward making it happen. You don't need Tony Robbins knocking on your door in the morning going, come on, let's get up. Come on, jump up and down. Let's go for a run. You don't need him anymore. You don't need to get motivated because now everything about you is inclined toward it. If you're thirsty, you don't need me coming around and saying, come on, let's have a drink. You're just inclined towards having a drink. If you're hungry, you don't need some great motivator to come and make you eat something because you're inclined toward it. Not just for your physical being, but for everything else that you'd like to have in your life or you'd like to create in your life, allow yourself the pleasure of going out and get a sense of how that's going to feel. And ask this very important question, how much fun is it? How much fun can I make that? I look at Nolene here and I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I know how much fun that's going to be when I get to... I always get mixed up, but come on, tell me where that is again. Come on. Tas Tasmania. Tasmania. I always get that mixed up, mixed up with Mas Madagascar for some reason. <laughs> so we will never meet. If I go to Madagascar and you're in Tasmania, we may never meet. But, you know, I know how much fun that's going to be when I get to be great. <laughs> It will be fun, won't it? It will be great. Oh, fun. You know, so... Um, then you become inclined towards making that happen. I will find a way to get to Tasmania by canoe, <laughs> canoe or, you know, I don't know, kite surfing or something. We'll find a way out there. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it is when we feel. So I'd ask you to do this for everything you want, whether it's your business, whether it's a financial goal, whether it's a physical goal, whatever it might be, get a sense of how that feels and feel into it. Ask that very important question. How much fun is this? You know, I, 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 I've decided I'm not going to do anything that's not fun. I'm lucky enough to be really old, so I don't have to worry too much. You know, I don't have to do anything I don't want to do anymore. But I'm not going to do anything that's not fun. I'm really not. Because why would I bother? You know, so I know it's not that easy all the time. But my goal is to live like that. I want to enjoy every moment. I really do. Um, I've tried to do that throughout my life. and It's got me into a lot of trouble, trust me. <laughs> but I try and enjoy every single... Yeah, you too, Nolene. I'm sure you have, yeah. But, you know, let's, let's think about... I know we're in this situation. Let's just for a moment think, I, how much fun can I make my, this moment you know, this is all we have, this moment. And it's so minute, you can't even measure it on an atomic clock. We, we, our life is a string of moments. The past is just in that void, it's done. All the things we've done, all the mistakes we've made, all the things that have hurt us, all of that stuff, it's in that void. We can think about it, we can worry about it, there's nothing we can do about it. Even what I've just said is now in that void. And as I said, the future hasn't happened yet. It can only be imagined. There is only this moment. We have to keep asking ourselves, how am I living this moment? How am I, what, how can I make this moment something special? And just think about it. As we go through our day, asking that question, in this moment, no matter what's going on around me, 
I've got two sons, they're 21 and 19. It's horrific. But you know, I still, I, I still live in that moment. We get through it, you know, and I and I still expecting the best. I might be wrong. <laughs> I have been so far, but you know, I keep I keep believing that one at one point um, they're going to be okay. I have to believe it. So what I'm saying is, we, we can still enjoy the, this moment we're in. I love this. I love this Friday hour we have together. For a while, nothing else matters, and. You know, we have this time together, and while we're together, you're all that matters to me. I want, I, I, I'm so pleased that Nolene has lost the weight she wanted to lose. You know, I, I, I look forward to seeing Doreen, my, my virtual PA. You know, we've never met yet, but I feel like I know Doreen, and without her, I'd, none of this stuff would be recorded. And without Tess, so I, I can't see her tonight, I wouldn't even know it's Friday. So, you know, we, it, for me, it's just joy. And it's pleasure. So we're going to get into this tonight. And we have Jess, Jess and Becky Roper. They're both normally here on a Friday. Um, they're not here tonight. It's mother and daughter. But um, Jess is a kickboxer. We all know, most of us know her. And she did some training with us in lockdown. But I saw this quote from one of her friends. And it's become my mantra now. You know, when I'm when I'm thinking about working out or I've I've maxed out on how much I can push up or whatever it might be, this this mantra is great. And I like you if you're going to try and achieve your physical goals or any other goals in your life that stretch you. This is the mantra. I'm willing to do what others are unwilling to do to enable me to achieve what others are unable to achieve. I'm willing to do, you know, when I'm on my last legs, when I think I can't push this weight anymore, I, I say it to myself, I'm willing to do what others are unwilling to do to enable me to achieve what others are unable to achieve. If we hold that, because sometimes it's a stretch, isn't it, to achieve what we want to achieve. I read this quote and I think it's great. It said, nothing grows in a comfort zone except complacency. We can live in our little comfort zone and it's easy. It is because, you know, we're kind of as human beings, we're geared to sit and eat. You know, we're, we're not that far away. Well, I'm not from the great ape, even in looks, come to think of it. But, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of geared in the same way. So, we have to, as human beings, go, no, if I want to be something, if I want to be different, if I want my life to be extraordinary, and it's not, that's not to say that being ordinary is not okay, that's fine. And the majority of people live like it. But if you think, I'd like my life to be extraordinary, I'd like to create something better than ordinary, then we have to push ourselves. I'm sure Anne, there's been times when she's tried to play a tune or she's had to struggle to play. play. Is, is it the flute you play or is it it's the flute, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I, I have not, you know, when that tune just won't come or, you know, you have to step out in front of an audience or whatever it might be and you have to stretch yourself. But that's how we get better. I've said it to you before, and some of you might be new to this, so I'm going to say it to you again. People ask me, I look a bit red here, but I think it's the lighting. It's not that I've been on holiday or something. So I'm going to change this. Oh, I think it is. I think I am red. I think that's what it is. It's nothing to do with the lighting. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so people ask me what the most common phobia is. And people say, is it snakes? Is it spiders? Is it dentists? It's none of those things. The most common fear is the fear of failure. And most of us experience it at some point in our life. What if I attempt this and I fail at it? What will people think? How will I feel? 
read this book and it's kind of uh, fits with what we're doing tonight, creating the body we want. It's a book by a guy called Tim Ferriss. It's called The Four Hour Body. He's written some great books, He's written The Four Hour Body, The Four Hour Work Week, which is the one I love most. The Four Hour Chef. He's written a few books that you do things in four hours. Anyway, The Four Hour Body, in that book, he's... He wants to lose 14 pounds of fat weight and put on 14 pounds of muscle at the same time, which is quite complex. You have to eat the right foods. You have to do the right exercise. And to put muscle on, and some of you will know, it's quite complex, quite difficult. But to put muscle on, to grow muscle, I'm not talking about getting stronger or faster, but to actually get more muscle on your body, you have to eat right, obviously. You have to put, eat a lot of protein. But apart from that, you have to work that muscle to failure. So instead of doing 20 reps, you have to do three or four. Where on the fourth one, you can't lift that weight. Because on that fourth time, when you fail, you rip the muscle. It's painful. You know, they say no pain, no gain. It's true. I say no pain, no pain. I prefer that. That's my mantra. But when you rip the muscle, it then scars and it gets bigger. That's how you grow muscle. Not I'm talking about <laughs> see you in four weeks, you ladies, and you're all hinged up. But, you know, that's how you grow muscle. And when I read that, it seemed like the perfect analogy for us as human beings. If we want to grow as a human being, if we want to grow as a therapist, if you want to grow as a musician, we have to work to failure. In fact, we need to make failure our ally. We should actively seek out that point of failure. Because it's in that moment that we grow. When we're doing hypnosis, and some, I know some of you have been on our hypnosis courses, and a lot of people out there don't want to use phenomena. And by phenomena, I mean things that you can fail at. You know, if I say I want your arm to stay out there like that and Nolan says, no, I'm not doing that. That's failure. And it can be painful. <laughs> I've got a couple of people here tonight. I'm not going to mention them, but Nolan's one of them who uh, refuses to experience any phenomena. Right. But um, and the other one's laughing in the background. I just hope she's not laughing during the hypnosis like she did the other day. But anyway, you know, it's that moment of failure when you grow because you learn something. If every client was spot on and you just got result after result, you're not going to learn anything. You are going to fail in life. But instead of fearing it, look for it. We have our doubts. You know, my favorite quote, and it is my favorite quote, it's a Shakespearean quote, it's this. Our doubts are traitors. And they make us lose that which we oft should win by fearing to attempt. Our doubts are traitors. They make us lose that which we oft should win by fearing to attempt. How many things could you have done or would you have done if you just been a little bit braver? If you've just gone, I'm going to take the chance. So I want you to think about this. The mantra, I'm willing to do what others are unwilling to do. To enable me to achieve what others are unable to achieve. Actively look for the point of failure. How far can I push it? How, how good could I, how, how could I help? How do I want my body to be created? And how far can I push it? How good can I be? We've got Jessa here. And um, she's actually, like, she's mentoring my, because I'm 70 in June. And uh, I wrote a book, and some of you have got it, a rope workout book. If you haven't got it, I'll send it to you. Just text me and I'll send it to you. And I did that, I think, in 2011. Um, my granddaughter, Beth, who was 18 at the time and myself done the kind of the photos for it, demonstrating this rope workout. I want to do that again in June, but I want to do it as a video. And for me to do it as a video, 
I'm going to get in shape. So Jess, is a, who's here tonight, she sends me these little pictures of biceps throughout the day, kind of like a silent virtual nag. Have you done your workout yet? You know, so, and you can hold me accountable for, for it. For, you know, to be able to achieve, I might not be able to achieve it, but I am going to work to that point of failure. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid to fail at it, but I am going to do my utmost to make that happen. And so, look at these few things I've been talking about. Let go of any limitations you've had. I can't do this. I can't do that. Remember that your unconscious mind makes shit up to make you feel good. It does. It makes excuses for why we live like we live. If you hear that voice, oh, I would if only. If only my boyfriend didn't buy me chocolates, I would lose the weight. Yeah. If only my wife didn't cook so many potatoes, yeah, I'd lose the weight. Yeah, of course. I said to my wife once, I said, you're making me fat. She just laughed in my face. So well, you don't have to eat the food. You'd moan if I didn't put nice things in the fridge. If I didn't cook you nice meals. She's absolutely right. If I want to be, if I create the body I want, then I have to take responsibility for it. And not just for this. If you're thinking I want to achieve that, and I would if only, I would do that if only. I would do that if only. If that if only is outside of your own head, then all you are is a victim of circumstance. The moment you say, I am taking responsibility for me, my happiness, my body, my finances, then we can change it. So listen out for those excuses your, con your, your conscious mind's making up and decide not to listen to them. See it for what it is. It's just your conscious mind making shit up. And ignore it and go, no, this is what I want. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make that happen. So get into this with me tonight. Lose yourself in it. Think about where you want to be. Listen to me if you want. But I don't mean this rudely. I am not interested in your conscious mind. That part of you that thinks it is you. When in reality, it's the least dependable part of your being. Your unconscious mind will hear everything I've got to say and it will take from it what's needed for you. Doreen's already going. She's yawning already. I have that effect on some women. But, you know, it will take from what's ever needed for you to create the body you want. Put the word diet out of your mind. I want you to become a connoisseur. So in that, my, by that, I mean I want you to enjoy your food even more. How many of you could tell me what you had to, for dinner last night or two nights ago? We just eat. I want you to think about what you're eating. And I want you to enjoy every morsel. Become a connoisseur. If you went to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant and he served you up a tiddly little bit of food for about 300 quid, you wouldn't get a <laughs> dessert spoon and go, yeah, great, where's the next bit? You would savour it. You would taste every bit. I would suggest to you become a connoisseur and then transfer that into everything in your life. Become a connoisseur of life itself, of some beautiful music. Said, so, you know, listen to Anne. She's fabulous. You know, to go out and just, whatever it's raining, snowing, sunshine, but to savour it. Take a bit of time. When you eat your food, taste it. 
If someone's cooked a meal for you, if you cooked a meal for yourself, that is the least we can do is to taste it. Most of us don't. We're just talking and eating. And two things happen when you taste your food. You chew it more, which is great because your digestive system works better. And secondly, it slows you down a tad. They say it takes 10 minutes for your stomach to register that you swallowed some food. 10 minutes. But in general, we are eating so quickly that by the time our stomach registers that we've eaten enough, we've already eaten too much. So by tasting our food, by becoming a connoisseur, your digestive system will work better. You'll enjoy your food more and you'll create the body you want without even thinking about it. Nice to see you, Andreas. Good to see you. All right, so if you're all ready to get into this, what I'd like you to do is get comfortable. That's right. Make sure you're in a safe position, not perched on the edge of a table with a boiling hot cup of coffee on your lap or anything like that. That's right. Heather's, she's there, got a blanket. <laughs> she's, <laughs> yeah, Jessa and her friend are ready to go. All right, okay, look. I want you to just get comfortable. Place your hands and your feet separately, if you would. So no fingers crossed, Donna. That's it. Just get yourself comfortable. And when you're ready to create the body you want, when you're ready to make these changes for yourself, I'd like you to just take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second. And as you breathe out, allow your eyes to close. If they're not already closed, just let your eyes close. That's right. And just for a moment, focus on those muscles around your eyes and relax those muscles completely. Get a sense of that happening. Think of the love and friendship in this group, people you've met in this group. Think of the people you've met, the people you've helped with your skills and your love and your kindness. And as you do that, notice your eyes are relaxing so completely they just won't work. Get a sense of that happening now. Imagine it's happening automatically. There's nothing you can do about that. When you realize that your eyes are so relaxed, they just won't work. You can test them, find it completely locked just for a while. That's right. Nothing bothers or affects you, nothing disturbs you. All that matters now is you, the sound of my voice, freedom from every limiting belief that ever held you back and creating the body you absolutely want. I'm gonna snap my fingers and that sound is gonna transfer that feeling of relaxation around your eyes. That feeling's gonna go down through your body like a bliss anesthesia. But no matter how relaxed you get, that chair will support you. Get ready as I, as you hear that sound, that feeling of relaxation around your eyes is gonna go right down through your body. I want you to enjoy every moment, get ready. Feel it just flooding down through your body, every muscle, nerve and fibre, like you've had general anaesthesia. Nobody wants anything, no one expects anything. There's nothing for you to do but to listen to my voice. Get a sense of that happening, you're just dropping down through space and time. Down to that place of total bliss. A place of peaceful inner awareness. A place that almost seems to give off signals that directs awareness down toward it, into it. And as you drift in that space, 
you may become aware of a piece of music that you love. Something that helps you relax, something that helps you get to that space of peace. You may become aware of that music now as you drift deeper, deeper, deeper down into that feeling. Every word I say doubles that feeling. Imagine it's happening automatically. That's right. That music running through your mind like water running down a river, just flooding through your mind and body, every cell, every fiber, taking you deeper, deeper, deeper down into that feeling. Even deeper than before. And as you drift in that space, my voice, my words are gonna drift with you. It's become a part of your experience now. Every word I say doubles that feeling. And everything I say now is your reality. Every suggestion I give you, your mind and body will act upon at a molecular, cellular, neurological level is now your reality. Hear that music playing in the back of your mind. Notice how that takes you even deeper. You have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. And that unconscious mind, the back of the mind, can continue to hear, to understand and respond to those things I might say without the need for you to do anything at all. It's so much easier for the conscious mind simply to relax and enjoy that letting go. That's right. Letting go even of the effort it takes to make the effort that it might take. To tell the exact position of arms, legs, or the entire body now that seems to drift through time and space. That wonderful free floating place of effortless relaxation and letting go. Allowing events to occur in their own time, in their own ways, you drift as a mind. And that mind drifts without boundaries, without borders, without limits. Get a sense of yourself out there, creating the body, the health and the happiness that you want. Notice the way you move and the way you breathe. That feeling of freedom free of every limiting belief that ever held you back, that was ever placed on you. Notice the way you move and the way you breathe. Step into that body and feel into it. How good it feels to have created the life you want, the body you want. Ask that question once again, how much fun is it? How much fun can I make it? How important is it for me? And get a sense of that feeling now. Because now you know where you're going. Now you know how good you'll feel when you get there. There is not a force on this planet that can keep you from creating that life you want. Get a sense of drifting up out of that body in that chair, the essence of who you are. That intangible part of a human being, the passenger, the observer in that physical body. Get a sense of separating from your body and leaving your body there. A feeling of liberation and freedom you may have never experienced before. Get a sense of drifting further and further away from that body. And just for a moment, look back at that body and show it some appreciation. How incredible is that body? Because you are the most incredible creation in the known universe. On a planet of nearly 8 billion people, 
You are unique. You are incredible. In the history of mankind, there have been a hundred billion people on this planet. But there's never been another you. You are unique. You are incredible. Get a sense of that separation now. The essence of who you are drifting away from your body. And notice that the essence of who you are is ageless. It's infinite. It has no edge. And no matter what happens to your body, it cannot touch you. Because you're infinite, you're ageless. An understanding that you're not your body. You're not even your name because that was given to you. And that whatever you thought you were, you are so much more than that. Get a sense of that now as you drift further and further away. Once again, get a sense of drifting so high that you can actually look back at the planet Earth and see that beautiful blue planet in your mind's eye. Get a sense of the clouds and the mountaintops and the greens of the forest and the blue of the ocean. Get a sense of that beautiful planet spinning through space. How incredible is that? How lucky are we to have landed on this planet? Of all the planets in the universe, we've landed on this planet and we've landed in this space and time together. How incredible is that? And notice as you look back at that planet, how your perspective changes. Things that had seemed overwhelming no longer have any power over you. Things that had seemed hard or difficult to overcome no longer have any power over you. You are love and you are loved and you are loving. The essence of who you are is pure light, pure joy and pure love. Get a sense of that now. In your mind's eye, get a sense of a target, like an artery target between you and that planet Earth. The colored bands, the very center, the bullseye. Now in the center of that bullseye is every limiting belief that's ever held you back about creating the body, and the health and the happiness you want. Every negative word that was said to you, every doubt that was placed on you, every limiting belief that was ever placed on you is in the center of that target. In a moment, I'm going to make this sound. As I make that sound, you will be fired, shot like an arrow straight through that target and straight out the other side into a space of unconditional self-love. And it will be the most incredible experience. As you go through that target, every negative limiting belief, all the hurt, pain and sadness that was placed on you in the past, every limiting belief that ever held you back is in the center of that target. But I want you to be brave about this because as you go through that target, you may experience some of that hurt, that pain, the sadness, some of those limiting beliefs or negative thoughts even more intensely for a split second, a millisecond. But be brave. This is the last time it will ever hold you back. So get ready as I make that sound, you're going to go through that target into a space of unconditional self-love. Get ready. And now you're in that space. 
just you and the sound of my voice. A feeling of unconditional self-love. And know it's okay to love yourself because you are worth loving and you are love and you are loved and you are loving. Get a sense of that now, flooding your body and your mind. Think about the people you love, people that love you. See those faces feel out love. Think of the people whose lives are different because of you, because of your words, your kindness, or your music. And think about those people now whose lives have changed because of you. Let that feeling flood your body. Feel it like a burning hot sun in a summer sky. Shrink it down to a white hot nuclear powered ball of light as big as a golf ball and pull that into your heart center. Feel your heart expanding with that feeling of love and joy and light. Feel it exploding through your body into every cell, every fiber. Filling you up, lifting you up, lighting you up. And notice as your body's flooded with that incredible feeling of love and light, that every doubt that was ever placed on you, every negative limiting belief that ever held you back has gone. Because it cannot coexist in your body with that feeling of love and light and joy. And feel into that now. Get a sense of that, a new understanding about your worth, your value, and just how loved you are and how incredible you are. And as you feel that now, you will look after yourself. You will take care of your body and you will be kind to yourself because you're worth it. Once again, just go out into the future. See yourself there, having created that life and the health and the body and the happiness you want. And let go of every limiting belief, every inhibition. Let it go and get a sense of that now. Now you know how good you're going to feel. Now you know how to get there. There's not a force on this planet that will keep you from achieving that goal. You're already a whole being. You're already beautiful. You're already the most incredible creation. Every limitation's gone. You are an incredible creator. You've already created the body you're in. And you can decide how you want to be. Now it belongs to you. And from today, whenever you want to use your unconscious mind to create anything, the body you want, the happiness you want, the finances you want, the music, whenever you want to create, you just hear the word relax four times in your mind. And on the fourth time of hearing it, you'll instantly go back into this deep trance you're in now, wherever it's safe and appropriate to do so. Whenever you want to use the powers you have within you, you find a place where you can be safe and you repeat the word relax. 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 And you'll instantly go back into this deep trance you're in now, where you have access to all of your inner knowledge and strength, all of your creativity. I'm going to go quiet for a moment while you repeat that word in your mind silently to yourself. 
And notice how you go deeper with every time you say that word. That's right. Even deeper than before. Because now it belongs to you. Just for a moment. Think of a moment of gratitude for someone, something, someplace. But think of a moment of gratitude. Remember where you were and how you felt when you felt that feeling of gratitude. And step into it, feel into it. Feel that feeling of gratitude now. Now in your mind's eye, reach up with your right hand like you're reaching up for the stars and grasp that feeling of gratitude in that hand and pull it into your heart. Feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude. That's right, feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude. Now think of a moment of laughter, a moment of pure, unbridled laughter. Think of it now, you just laugh from your belly. Think of that moment of pure laughter, step into it, feel into it. And when you absolutely feel it, grasp it with your hands, pull it into your heart, feel it expanding, with that feeling of gratitude and laughter. Put your other hand over the top of that hand and feel it now flooding your body. And now think of a moment of unconditional love for someone, or when you felt that feeling of unconditional love for you. Feel into it now, get a sense of it. And once again, grasp it with your hand pull it into your heart and feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude, laughter and love, because that is who you are. Get a sense of it now, flooding your body and mind. That's right. And it may be interesting for you to think about what you've experienced these last few minutes. How you may use these things from one day to the next. Because you have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. And those two minds will learn from your experiences here today. Some things that you can utilize to deal more effectively with those things that had been a problem for you before. Every ounce of irrational fear has gone from your body. Every negative thought that's ever held you back. Every doubt that was ever placed on you has gone from your body. Imagine it's happened and there's nothing you can do about it. Even if at first you have to pretend something was said to you, something was done to you, you just can't experience those irrational fears and thoughts. You are loved and you are loved and you are loving. Get a sense of that. Imagine that is happening now and there's nothing you can do about it. A new understanding about your worth and your value and just how incredible you are. And from today, you will look after yourself. You will take care of yourself. You will be kind to yourself because you are worth it. It's your privilege. Use this experience. Think about the things you can do strengths, abilities, skills, the love that you may have overlooked before that will allow you a clear view of the possibilities of a new way of living, a new way of being. Take that time now, a brief time that seems to be a long time to review, plan at some level of awareness the things you're going to create later on, the things you're going to change later on as you create the body, the health, the happiness that you want. Go with your unconscious often as you need to, to know that you're free. 
free the past, free to be, to enjoy every moment, to squeeze the juice out of every day, to find pleasure in the smallest of things. Only when the unconscious mind knows and has made those changes and allows the conscious mind to accept the changes made. Because in a moment, I'm going to count to 10. Every suggestion I've given you, your mind and body will act upon at a molecular, cellular, neurological level is now your reality. You will find yourself creating that body you want without thinking, without trying. Because now you know how good you're going to feel. Everything about you is inclined toward making it happen. You will feed your body with the right foods. You'll drink the water that you need to be as well as you can be. And the harder you try to remember what it felt like to be anxious or stressed, the calmer you become. Imagine it's happened and there's nothing you can do about that. So on eight, your eyes will open. You are going to feel incredible. A totally new understanding about your worth and your value and just how loved you are. And on 10, that feeling of empowerment and joy and happiness. It's going to grow stronger day by day as you create the body, the health, the happiness that you want and you deserve. Imagine it's happening automatically. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. So get ready as I count to 10. On eight, your eyes will open. And on 10, that feeling of freedom you're feeling now, that feeling of love and joy and energy you're feeling now, it's going to stay with you and grow stronger day by day. One, feeling absolutely wonderful. Two, to create the body, the health and happiness you want. Three, being a freedom from every limiting belief that ever held you back. Four, feel a force of that energy and love flooding your body and your mind. Five, feeling incredibly alive now. Six, seven, eight, eyes opening, feeling absolutely wonderful. Nine, ten. Excellent. Are you are still there, Diana? It's good. Thought you'd fallen on the floor for a while. There you are. Good. Excellent. <laughs> okay, look. Thanks for joining me this evening. Hope you enjoyed the experience. Have a wonderful weekend. And remember, you are love and you are loved and you are loving. Take Thank you, Clelia. That was wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, oh. All right, good. Oh, where uh, are you? Donna, I did get Donna, I did get your message. Just I've been too busy to reply, but I'll reply to you, all right? I'll try and do it, you know, tomorrow probably. Okay. Right. Okay. Thanks for joining me this evening and uh, have a wonderful weekend. And I'll speak to you all soon. All right. Take care.